Hey there, Nikki Hardin, nutrition and detox expert and the formulator of 21 Cleanse. 21 Cleanse is my therapeutic grade organic herbal cleanse system that is transforming bodies and lives around the globe. So today I've asked Dallas Travers to join us. Now, Dallas just finished 21 Cleanse with her husband, actually. So I've asked her to come on and share a little bit about her experience. And I want to start first by just, Dallas, if you don't mind, I'm going to give you this like little brief kind of intro because Dallas, Dallas's situation is unique. First of all, she is a business powerhouse, okay? She is a really incredible, international, super successful businesswoman that runs two online businesses that are thriving. She has a young daughter, that, and she's an incredible mother, totally dedicated to being a mother. She is married and is an incredible wife. She's a friend. She's a mentor. She's busy, okay? So Dallas is busy and has a very full life. So that's one element that's really, I find, everyone's busy, but two businesses, full family, full life. Second, now, Dallas's situation is really unique from a health perspective because when she came to me, she was not losing, looking to lose weight. She had energy and felt healthy. She's, she's a happy, positive, outgoing person. So... Really, like Dallas, I'd love if you can start by just like sharing a bit about what was your intention and your motivation. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for inviting me too, by the way. And I'm going to save this video forever, all those things you just said about me. <laughs> hey, use it because I am not about lip service. You know that. <laughs> well, the truth is, so before... 21. I was just curious about 21 because my husband and I, you know, we've been together 12 years and we've kind of tried a lot of different cleanses. You know, the first few years of our relationship, we did the master cleanse a couple of times a year where like we were vegans for a while and then we did paleo for a while and we're always kind of experimenting. Mm -hmm. um, and I think looking back, what I realized was that openness to experimenting was giving us permission to not take care of ourselves when we weren't on some sort of special cleanse or diet. So we were real roller coaster riders big time when it came to eating right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I'm always just curious. Well, and there's another piece here too. I, my daughter's almost three and I began to notice changes in my, uh, I'm going to say metabolism and not like that. It was harder to lose weight or easier to lose weight, but just, I started to be more sensitive to how food was actually affecting my energy. Mm. And for anyone watching with young children, especially those first couple of years, sleep is a very precious resource. Yeah. And so I was just aware of my like my lack of rest and my need for rest and rejuvenation more than ever before. So I came into 21 really just curious about how it would affect my energy. And also I jumped into it because I, it was really obvious to me that I needed a massive reset button because I'd gotten into old patterns of a glass of wine, which I am allergic to by the way, right? A glass of wine, which would lead to some sort of like, munchy salty thing late at night which would lead to waking up feeling groggy which would leave lead to coffee in the morning which would lead to like being jacked for half the day and like that I was in that thing. and then needing wine to and calm, to calm down. myself down yeah yeah <laughs> like sophisticated self-medication right <laughs> oh my god right 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 yeah. it's so we were true. we were really in that routine and also truthfully you know, I, I always kind of, my weight stays within a five, maybe even seven pound swing. Mm -hmm. I was swinging a little too far in one direction. So I was hoping um, to like for my skinny jeans to fit a little, a little more easily for sure. Yeah. yeah. And my husband, on the other hand, he really felt like he had weight to drop. So that was another motivator for us to, to hop into the cleanse together. Got it. Totally. Yeah. 
So with all of this, um, you know, really what I heard from you is your intention. I, I, if I remember correctly, you just uh, finished breastfeeding as well. Not to oh. it's been too long or not your window, right? Like you just kind of come off of breastfeeding. So you're looking to kind of hit the reset button from that. You'd noticed. Yeah. Yeah. You know, thank you for reminding me about that. It had been about six weeks of not breastfeeding. So we went like two and a half years oh, of wow. nursing. Yeah, I deserve a medal for that, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was kind of the first time in a, what felt like an eternity where I really had my body back. Oh. Right? Right, yeah. And I think that also could be what led to like the wine and the salty because it was like, oh, I can, I can have coffee in the morning if I feel like I don't have to worry about what's going into my daughter's body and how interesting that that then just gave me permission to treat myself like shit. But that's another conversation. Oh, yeah, totally. you're right. So I was just finally feeling like, oh, okay, I can, I have room to really focus on me for a, a little while for the first time since conceiving. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's so cool because I hear this. I've heard this consistently throughout, um, you know, my cleansers, right? Because I, um, I'm pretty right there mm -hmm. with my people, right? People that go through, it's like um, they just have a cheerleader, and so it's um, it's interesting because even if there's not a lot of conversation energetically, I'm with them, right? Mm. People feel that. Yeah. So, um, Ooh, I just got shivers. Uh, mm -hmm. I love it when that happens. So one of the things I hear so often is how, um, cl the cleanse is really their, their, their opportunity to give them permission to start taking care of themselves again. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it's almost like we need, there's a, there's a, um, like something happening energetically or psychologically where by saying, okay, this is going to be my kickstart and I need this to just really start saying yes to me again. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. And, and the great thing is that you then have not only the, the food program to follow, but that the formulas go in and, you know, heal and repair and rebalance and kind of clean up the damage, right? For lack of better words. Yeah. Um, so what, um, you know, with your super busy life and then what I heard you say as well is that you, it, it almost sounded like there was um, an opportunity for some, some serious like rejuvenation and rebuilding of, of your system, mm -hmm. this process and getting back on track. So with your super busy life and then what you were, were hoping for in your own health kind of goals. And then also maybe you want to speak to Andrew, but we can get to this, um, you know, during the cleanse, like what was your experience? Yeah. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm going to create just a little bit of context. I think it'll be helpful. And, yeah. and you mentioned a couple of things, but you know, before the cleanse, you said it, like I felt good and I was, my life was really, really full. I, f I felt like I had energy. I felt like I could focus. Like I didn't really come into it with anything to fix as much as coming into it with a bit of an experiment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what I noticed, the biggest thing that stood out for me was getting started like a couple days in. Look, okay. Looking at the whole program, I had a moment of, I don't have time for this. How am I, how am I going to fit this schedule in? Cause we like the supplement happens here and then two hours later it's something else. And I was like, how am I going to do that? Yeah. And as I heard myself say that, I realized like I'm eating already, right? Yeah. I, I, so this is just helping me have an awareness of my choices. Mm -hmm. So we went into it saying, okay, I got this. And then I would say probably around day eight, I, my, my home office is up two flights of stairs yeah. and I found myself zipping up those stairs, Nikki. Yes. Do, 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 do. And then I forgot. So, so I got into my office and I realized, oops, I forgot my whatever, probably my green drink or my chlorella something. Right, right, right. <laughs> so I went, boop, 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 
right down, back down the stairs and pop, 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 right back up the stairs. And I got to the top of the stairs and I realized, oh my goodness, I don't remember the last time I zipped up a flight of stairs. And then I thought about it and I realized there were days when, this is kind of embarrassing, but there were days when I would go up the stairs, like hands and feet feeling that lethargic, kind of not quite crawling because that's actually too much work, but just sort of like uh, logging it. Yeah. And so it was that day eight where I, where I realized how much energy I didn't have prior mm. to the cleanse. Yeah. So more than noticing, oh, I feel so energized, what it really shined a light on for me was, oh my God, I was exhausted yeah. and foggy. So day nine happened and I got an idea for a brand new program that I was going to create oh! and, and launch. And I hadn't, I, I mean, I have two online businesses. I love making programs. I hadn't created a new one since before getting pregnant. So we're now we're like three years in, right? right. And during the cleanse, not only did I come up with the idea, I created the whole five week program. I launched it I, and I sold it out. What? Yeah. <gasps> And it was, oh. it was because the cleanse gave me uh, much more mental clarity, much more sustained energy, yep. and like I felt like my channels were for inspiration were wide open. Mm -hmm. so creating this program, like it almost created itself. It was so easy because I, my system was so super clear. Yep. Totally. The other thing I want to say that I would, that was a huge surprising benefit of mm -hmm. going through 21 was I developed such a love of cooking. Mm. And I've never really, I mean, I started kind of leaning into that more and more after my daughter was born. But prior to her being born, we lived in our house for 10 years and I used the oven like twice. Um, <laughs> for real. I can um, relate. Yeah. And, and I just like think being so conscious about what are we going to eat and how's it going to make us feel and are we getting enough hydration? Um, I just stepped into a whole new relationship to myself as a, like an, as a nourisher yeah. of myself and my family. Oh, and that has carried through. I make meal plans. I wish you guys had known me before, but I... <laughs> Sundays, I make a whole calendar for the whole week, what we're going to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I have my grocery days, two days a week, and I just really love cooking. Oh, wow. Yeah. Last, yesterday was Halloween, and my daughter, oh, we were like, oh, she really wanted to go trick-or-treating, but we don't want to give her the candy, and what are we going to do? And so we thought, okay, we'll go to two houses, and then we'll see, you know, we'll just figure it out. So we went to these two houses. We got um, she got some crappy whatever Reese's something and we got home and she said pulled one out of the basket and She said is this organic? <laughs> oh my and, gosh, and I said no, it's not and she said it probably has chemicals I said it probably does and then she said do you have something better for me? I know yeah, and that's just that's just a reflection of how my husband and I have now been living yeah. Since 21. Wow. That's really cool. Oh my yeah. God. I love that makes, so it, it's, I'm, I'm so grateful to hear that, um, because of just your daughter. Right. Yeah. And, and I hear this from a lot of my cleansers. They say, my children have started to make different choices mm -hmm. because they're watching me make different choices and they're hearing like my new relationship with food, mm -hmm. right? Because it's like there's a shift that happens from good, bad, right, wrong, oh, self-punishment around food, which is kind of what most people do when they're choosing coffee and wine and, oh, this fried food, and, oh, I shouldn't really do that. That, that whole chatter that talk track is gone. And then mm. what comes is more looking at, at food as nourishment and fuel and life force, right? Mm. And, and, and the kids start to go towards that. And I heard that all the time. So that is so precious. Yeah, it's really something. That is so precious. 
Now, I remember you shared something with me as well about, um, you know, your time with Farina mm -hmm. uh, and your, your, uh, your presence, your, your patience, your kind of um, involvement in your time was different. Does, do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think overall. So it's most easily reflected in my daughter because your kids are just like little mirrors walking around showing you where you still have work to do on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I would say prior to 21, I was always really aware of the shortage of time in my life. Mm. That's how it felt. Yeah. Right? Um, in particular, at the end of a long day, when it's, time, when it's bedtime, I would find myself more often than not inside feeling like, okay, let's get the show on the road. It would be really great if you could just go to bed and I could have a minute to breathe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so just kind of missing out on the experience of what can be a really precious experience of being present with one another. Mm -hmm. um, and I, it's just because I felt really busy, whether I was or wasn't is a whole nother conversation, but I felt really busy and really stretched and really freaking tired at the end of the day. Yeah. really just exhausted. Um, and that was another thing that I, I noticed. My relationship to time changed. Mm. I felt like I had more than enough time to do what I needed to do. Yeah. And it was because I felt more energy. Yeah. Right. So I was calling it like, I don't have enough time or I'm too busy. Where really what it was, was I was depleted. I was depleted because I wasn't, I definitely wasn't getting enough water. Um, and I was just like eating, eating health, healthfully or healthy enough to, for it to not be a problem, right? Like getting by and being probably eating healthier than a lot of people, but not really eat, um, eating with respect and eating with the intention of like, with the focus of how is this going to make me feel? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so that really shifted. And so I got like bedtime with my daughter now is so fun and easy. And I'm going to use the word slow because I'm, because I'm not in a hurry. It's really precious time. And I don't feel like I'm not rolling silently within myself, rolling my eyes and like tick tock, let's get this going. So. <laughs> right, right, right. Can we get on with it? Yeah. Right. That whole conversation. Yeah. Or just going through the motions. Like, okay, we're going to read our two books, pick two books, and hoping she picks a short book instead of a long book. You know, like all of those tiny little things yeah. that don't seem like a big deal. Yeah. Just in the same way, like walking up the stairs slowly, they don't seem like a big deal. Or needing a little piece of chocolate at 3 p.m. because I'm feeling kind of sloggy. Like those tiny little things that don't seem to be a problem. Um, just realizing how they have a cumulative effect. So the cleanse like really eliminated the, the tiny little leak, leaks in my container. I had a bunch of little tiny leaks and the cleanse just really sealed all that up. Oh, that's so great. I love that analogy. Mm. You know, I'm like seeing energetic leaks. Right? Yeah. I'm like, yep, that's just not even, it's just not even there anymore. Yeah. So would you, would you say that you would recommend to like the average person that's healthy and, you know, living and all of that, like, would the, would cleansing be something that would be a value and a benefit to them? Mm, that's a great question. You know, part of me feels like what better time to cleanse than before you're in an emergency? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and, oh, I just dropped something. Sorry. But for me, it was like looking back on it. I, I really went into it, treating it like an experiment. Like, I wonder, like, is this really like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so going into it with an experiment to really see like, what does next level look like? And looking back on it, I would say like, I was functioning at a, like a B minus right? Mm. Passing grade above average, but the cleanse and afterward, and I want to talk about afterward too, but yeah. during the cleanse and afterward, I'm, you know, the star of the class. So that's, so I think for people who feel 
who, who say to themselves, like, I, no, I'm healthy enough. Yeah. Like, what would it be like to strive for extraordinary health? Yeah. yeah. And for me, again, I mentioned this, but just seeing how seemingly unrelated things, like productivity in my business, right, and creativity and eating, right, seeing how they, when they're totally related, but I wasn't aware of that connection yeah. prior to experiencing it. So someone who is a peak performer and like moving and grooving and accomplishing big things, I think those are the people who should be cleansing the most and should be cleansing regularly. Yeah, yeah, totally. And what do you think is regular? That's a good question. Right? Because I know what I think, right? As like the detox nutrition. Yeah, yeah. Expert, if you will. <laughs> Just sort of leaning into that, I think almost seasonally, almost mm -hmm. seasonally, which could be, that, that's probably it. If we're look, giving each, ourselves grades, uh, seasonally would be an A plus, but no less than three times a year. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's no great. less than three times a year. Um, but I, I'm curious too, cause it almost feels like a, oh, so let me talk about after the cleanse. Yeah. So in the past, because my husband and I have done a lot of different things before, and I remember one time finishing the master cleanse, which is 10 days. We did it for like 21 or 24 days or something, just maple syrup until you're, Ugh. right, just all that crap. But, and then, so it was the last day, and we went to a wine garden, <laughs> like a wine tasting. So that's how we would do it. We would like be all in on a cleanse and be great at it, and the day it was over, we, it would almost be like, okay, thank God, where's the, where's the closest burger joint, right? Yeah, yeah. My experience of 21 was entirely different. And I think part of that is the way that you have thoughtfully built it out, where you transition in and you transition out. Yeah. But we, we're still eating. I'm going to be honest, like not, not 100% cleanse worthy. Like I am cooking with oil, for example. Right, right. Um, but we, we're just eating so differently. We're eating, like letting the cleanse be our guide instead of it being this sort of, I don't know, um, like get out of jail free card, which is how we treated it before. Right, right. Oh, that's great. Yeah, the way in which you set it up just to allow me to experience the real benefit of what it looks like to eat, to make powerful food choices, that has just continued to carry us. Oh, that's so great. And I'm so happy that you, that you pointed that out because it's interesting. It's, um, it's almost like, uh, a hidden benefit that I've woven in because, you know, no, like every single aspect of this program, the products, the program, the support, I mean, every single aspect is, is thought out on so many different levels, mm. right? And so when it comes to the food, so many people want to be on my program or they, you know, if, if you're thinking about, um, when you do a juice cleanse or you're doing a fast, mm -hmm. or you're doing the, you know, it's like you get it and you're just drinking the shakes and you're not eating. And in that process, you're like not involved in in your food, right? It's like that same kind of cycle of, oh, I'm just going to do this to clean this up. And then when it's over, I'm going to go do this kind of. Ah, yeah. There's like no ownership or awareness of choice. It's done for you. Right. Yep. Right. And so one of the things about the program that I've strategically built in is, is each person is involved in making their own food choices. So mm -hmm. I provide all of the resources, you know, I serve it up to you on a platter. Here's a food list. Here's a shopping list. Here's some recipes, you know, here's a, like a sample idea of how you can do this. But ultimately the, the cleanser is involved and mm -hmm. they make that choice. And with them making that choice consistently, there's, there's a level of involvement and, um, responsibility and new behaviors and learning and growth and awareness and then also um, empowerment mm -hmm. people don't realize this but when you s there's a level of empowerment that comes through making positive choices 
but yeah. it's like a metaphysical thing that you just can't, you know, that's not a selling point, right? Like people right. don't really get that, but when they do it, I mean, it, it feels really empowering when you go to your favorite restaurant and rather than getting the glass of wine because you need to take the edge off, you're ordering, you know, an organic herbal tea and something that's healthy, mm -hmm. right? Um, so anyways, I, I just loved hearing. So, and, and because of that, the new habits are created and you've reformatted your palette on your own terms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. The other thing um, I really enjoyed doing during the cleanse was every meal we prepared, I, the presentation was beautiful. I like, I intentionally and thoughtfully made these really beautiful dishes. Cause truthfully, I thought 21 days of, if what, what, if what I said to my husband was, are we going to be eating zucchini for 21 days? Like I really was like, how are we going to, I was nervous about how, and also having a toddler who can be finicky and their system don't digest vegetables as easily as adults. I thought, how are we going to eat? I really, and the eating part was the easiest and it was where I got the most joy. Mm -hmm. um, and it allowed me to really slow down and develop this appreciation where it, before it just felt like something we had to check off the list, right? Like get something in our bodies. And then it, it, it that really, really shifted. So, yeah. Yeah. The slowing down is like yeah. really, really important. Um, I just love to hear a little bit, if you will, and I don't want to take up too much more of your time. So I'm, this has been so fun. Um, if you can speak to Andrew's experience and, um, and also, uh, if you noticed any shifts, maybe you did, maybe you did not, but I really hear this regularly is when a couple goes through this process together, they notice um, there are shifts in their relationship that happen. Mm, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I can't really speak to his experience as much as my observations of him. Yeah. Um, but he dropped a lot of weight mm. and he's kept it off. It's been a f three months almost since we finished and he's kept it off. Yeah. Um, he, what, another thing I noticed was he has like goes through periods where he can kind of be puffy under his eyes mm -hmm. and the puffiness under his eyes has gone. And I have yeah. pictures of him as a small child with puffy eyes. Wow. And, yeah. Okay. So, like clearly there was an intolerance to something there, right? Yeah. He was definitely like coffee in the morning, coffee in the afternoon, kind of a person. Mm. Um, wine at night for, for sure. And all of those habits, none of those habits have returned. Yeah. 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 I also just noticed him. Mm, I noticed the two of us shifting because we, we were forced to right yeah. but I think before 21 part of our wind down at night or like our couple time would be let's curl up to Netflix and have a glass of wine together or you know something like that or ooh let's have a little dessert with dinner you know just sort of these little indulgences and we had to find new ways to indulge mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. whether that was like one of us in the tub taking an Epsom salt bath and the other one like in there talking and really bonding in that way. Or oh, I love that. even if we're like in bed watching Netflix, we're snuggling up watching Netflix instead of like eating and watching Netflix. Right. So right, right. I think um, we were able to develop new ways of connecting with the new effortless ways to connect. Right. Right. Yeah. And it, it almost sounds that there's like a, a, a like a deeper, connecting right if you're i don't know i oh, just yeah. see if you're like eating drinking wine and watching netflix and like oh you know time together as opposed to like cuddling in bed and like watching netflix you know? yeah well and it's just a practical thing like if you've got wine on the bedside table and you're in a king size bed you have to sit far away from each other to reach your drinks uh, <laughs> yeah right so even just like simple unconscious things like that made it made a difference so so cool. Yeah. So what do you like to you? What do you really feel like was unique about 21 cleanse and, and why you decided to do like my program instead of 
the other ones, right? Yeah. So I think that I decided to do 21. Like I said, I, we've done a lot of other things and um, I liked the length of time. It felt like enough time. It felt like a challenge, yeah. but an achievable challenge. Yeah. Um, so that was really great. And I also have to speak to the quality of the supplements in the packet. Yeah. You know, cleanses I've done before have been sort of, here's your list of supplements to go to the store and buy. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's definitely a difference, no question. Mm-hmm. And I can't even really put my finger on it because I know there's like a lot of science for you around how your formulas are created. And, and I definitely noticed a dramatic difference of my experience inside of the cleanse. And like, in the way I was eliminating and all those other things, right? Yeah. And I, I, it has to be the supplements. I mean, I've done cleanses before where, you know, I'm going about my day and then suddenly it's like, ooh, I got to go to the bathroom right now, yeah. right? And it was none, like it didn't feel, I really felt like I was getting an extraordinary cleansing, but it didn't feel like it was violating my body at all or just like stripping my insides. And um, so I, I, that was the, another big difference is I could tell like, oh, this is the real deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I want to like congratulate you and thank you for putting the time and effort in. Yeah. Thank you. That. Cause it's really, um, you know, the whole reason that I created this program and how it initially, like the initial starting point wasn't, Oh, I think I'm going to create a cleanse. It was people were asking me, what are you doing? And put us on a cleanse. Mm. Um, because I was lecturing or doing teaching workshops that were helping people understand how the metabolism actually works and why it's so important for us to detox. And so they, you know, they're like, well, we want to do what you're doing. You got to put us on something. And I said, well, listen, there's, there, there are no products on the market that I would consider doing myself. Like I was, I was doing my own home-based witch potions, right? Totally, like in your basement or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know? And, um, and so they said, we'll create something. And I said, oh, are you kidding me? Right. So then that's what happened is I, mm-hmm. I went to the point, I said, okay, if I'm going to do this, I'm only going to create the best, right? So it's like therapeutic grade and, um, and that they're done in what to me feels like the right way. And you know, just so I can help you understand quickly. I mean, it's like we only use organic or wild crafted ingredients. We don't use anything outside of that. Anything, there's no binders, there's no fillers, there's no preservatives, there's no sweeteners, there's no extra, there's no additives. It's mm-hmm. just mother nature. And then what's really unique about the formulas is um, we individually extract each herb for it to get its maximum medicinal and energetic value rather than doing it collectively, which is like what, if you were to go to Whole Foods or any, you know, natural grocers or whatever, anything uh-huh. you're buying on the shelf, most of those companies are putting all the herbs in a bat and dumping some alcohol on it, probably at a low rate because it's very expensive. And then getting a, a very like weak diluted yes herb right like medicinal property the medicinal properties and because we do each herb individually yeah like, this is shisandra shisandra needs 70 percent or 40 percent or whatever you know this is what this herb needs mm-hmm. alchemy we get that then we blend Mm. And we send out for testing for heavy metals, aflatoxin, arsenic, E. coli, and microbacteria. So it's like, I, I prefer my cleanses without arsenic. That's like, <laughs> that's the bar I've set now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's funny. I, I, one of the things I say to people is like, look, my intention is to bring you destination detox in mainstream uh, lifestyle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you don't have to use your vacation to go away and to take care of yourself and to restore yourself to that level of going to fast and spending time around and starving yourself. Yeah. So Um, what I'm hearing you say is like the different, the metaphor for, uh, for me was 
um, the image of having like the last drops in the shampoo bottle. So you have to add water in order to get enough to wash your hair. Yeah. So other products are kind of like that shampoo bottle where you're desperately shaking enough water to hopefully get enough soap. Yep. Okay. That, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Oh, thank you for creating it. We're just so, it was a really fun experience and I felt and feel so alive and I really feel a sense of creativity and vitality and self-appreciation uh, all as a result of like the, the process and the, the cleaning out, of course, but also the intention behind the cleanse. This is great. Can't wait to do it again. Yay. Cool. Well, thank you so, so much for your time and for sharing this and um, for the work that you're doing in the world, empowering other people. And I'm just happy to help you and Andrew and Farina um, when the next time is right. Great. Thanks, Nikki. You're welcome. Thank you.